guys, we are back with Wealth Warriors. Now, as you see, the new installment is How to Afford the American Home. The American Dream is still alive, but constantly on your TikTok and constantly on media, you guys hear narratives like this. Check it out. Homes, not apartments, homes in the metro are owned by three companies. That's nearly one in every nine houses up for rent and some entire suburban neighborhoods where corporations own it all. The homes that most of these companies are buying are exactly the kind of starter homes that 15, 20, 30 years ago would have been first-time home buyers. These institutions are literally stealing the American dream right out from underneath the millennials and Gen Zers, and no one seems to be saying anything about it. Listen, guy, I'm going to say something about it. Guys, nobody is stealing nothing from us. We can take over and decide to do what we want to do. And house hacking is the new way. I don't care about what corporations are doing. It's a small percentage of a small percentage. There's so many single family homes. There's so many small single family homes, quadplexes, duplexes, triplexes that are available for the market. And we can house hack those today and not only just get into the property for a dream, but also get into the property for economic scheme, but we have too much media and too much TikToks and YouTubes complaining about how we've been. Owning a house in this country was a staple of the middle class for the past 50 years. And what these institutions are doing is wrong. And if they turn the entire country into a renter's economy and then they control the rent, they're going to keep people spending 30 to 50% of their income on rent. And people are going to be living paycheck to paycheck and they're going to have all the control. One of the benefits of actually owning a house in this country is that in 15 to 30 years, you have it paid off. There are people who own a $400,000 house today and their only payment is property tax and homeowner insurance for like 600 bucks. Guys, again, nobody's stopping you. And this is why I decided to create this installment to show you guys how to house hack and not just buy your home to be worse off than your parents are. Forget if you actually pay off the home and all you got is property tax, you won't if you house hack. You have money and rentals coming in. And then that will not only cover your mortgage and allow you to pay off the property, but it will also allow you when the property is paid off to actually make money. And you could even make money while you're paying off the property. This is the new way of getting into the American dream. It's smarter. It's not only just working hard and getting a house and feeling good about it, but also getting the property and being smart about it and making money. So you get to own a home and still be a part of the renter and rental economy by making a profit. But all you see every day is about negative comments. And this is why this installment that you guys are going to be watching is going to be beneficial because it's going to help you house hack. There's going to be so much lessons from lesson one to nine, just allowing you to understand the process and just working away any negative and misconceptions that you'll experience in the process of house hacking and getting a loan. But look at what the people saying in the comments. And then literally everyone is talking about this except politicians always wanted somebody to talk about it. The politicians are not your mommy and they're not your daddy. And they are trying to turn the living into a subscription model and you'll forever rent and be happy. That's a lie, guys. You can buy a home today. And yeah, we'll all be pissed and politicians won't touch it. Voting doesn't work. Yes, voting doesn't work. You need to vote with your wallet and your time and your energy into house hacking. This is what you can do. You can take control of your future or be a victim like these people in the chats. They're just victims. Simple answer. The people who have the power to stop this and being paid by these companies to maintain a status quo as it always been. Here we go. Blaming corporations. Here we go. Blaming the government. Nobody in this chat is blaming themselves like, hey, guys, I've never even applied for a loan. Hey, guys, I know nothing about financial literacy. Hey, what is this 50, 30, 20 rule? I never even heard of it. I never even looked it up. I never took control of my own future. It needs to be illegal for corporations to own single family. No, it needs to be illegal for you not to know anything and then attempt to do a coup d'etat and change laws and legislations when you can go out here and change it for yourself. Here we go. Another person in the comment going to the local debate and asking campaigning politicians if they have a plan to reduce the ability of corporations to buy residential property is a good start. No, what a good start is, is watching this video. How to afford the American dream. What's a good start is controlling what you do and minding your business and deciding to take control of your own destiny. Stop acting politicians and corporations or do anything. Corporations are a small fraction that owns about 0.06 of single family homes. There's so much of a supply. Remember, it's a 100% equation, okay? And they only own 0.06. That's it. So corporations aren't the problem. 
you're the problem and get it done and get it right by start watching in this film and watch, watching lesson from one through nine and i will show you not only grants and loans and programs and dpa assistance that you can go qualify for today that would change your life instead of taking this loser mentality advice that's all it is other people are teaching how to be a loser how to how to be a loser step by step giving you this idea in the head that the world's against you the system's rigged and you can't get a home that is a lie that is not facts any home that you have can go get a dpa assistance and you can get the money today to purchase the home that you want the future is yours you decide to make the choice or you decide to lose either way it's a choice of yourself it's the making of yourself don't blame anybody else but yourself let's get it done let's figure it out let's do better let's not ask other people to do better for us we do better by ourselves we take control and watching this installment and learning is a part of it today no matter what nobody says about a down payment system three percent no matter what nobody says the three percent is provided in 34 programs of a dpa assistance that's available right here on things like zillow where they show you you click the button what's a down payment assistance how you qualify view the programs it shows you how many programs you qualify for and what those programs are about and you can receive up to twenty one thousand dollars for a home that would cost you four hundred thousand dollars so that's more than three percent and that's more than five percent the money is there let's make it happen let's get a property that not only we can get into almost free we can also make money off can't wait to see you guys on installment we 